Hi guys and welcome back to A Fountain of Books. So today I'm going to be discussing my 2020 goals, reading goals with you guys um, and going a little bit in deep detail of what I want to do and what I envision for 2020. Okay guys, so I have a couple goals and I'm excited to discuss them with you. So my first goal is to read two books for 2020. Yes, that sounds like very, very few, but my word for 2020 is going to be relax. And I don't want to stress myself out to read. I don't want to put all this pressure on myself to read this great amount, amount of books and me not get to them. Um, so I really want to take things easy and have a laissez-faire um, view when it comes to my reading. Um, and if I get to it, I get to it. If I don't, I don't. Um, the next goal is to read to only have a TBR of three books a month. I know that that sounds crazy, but I have found I am a mood reader and I read slow sometimes, um, especially when I get off work and it's late, I'm cooking dinner. I read while I cook dinner usually. Um, and when I'm not just getting off work and cooking dinner, I want to see, hang out with my wife. I haven't seen her all day. I, you know, I want to spend some time with her. So I'm not getting as much reading done as I usually do. Um, and that's okay. And I sat down and thought about it for a really long time. That's okay with me. So I'm going to I'm gonna choose three books a month and that's it. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is 21 before 2021. It's 21 books that are on my shelves that are unread or it is a, I have one that is the first book in a series I read a long, long time ago. I was gifted the second one this year um, from my little sister and so I want to read the second one but I have to read the first one first. So that's the only exception, but all of them are unread books on my shelf that have been there for a while. Um, and when it comes to my 2021, I'm doing a cup of TBR. So each month I will pull out one or two, depending on the length of the book. If it's a shorter book or it's something I'm just super, super excited to get to, um, I will probably pick two. Or if it's one that I can pull and I know the library has, the audiobook, then I will pull, I will go ahead and pull another one because the audiobook I can get done real quick. I can listen to it on my walks with Annie. Uh, I listen to it while I do dishes and stuff like that. Um, so I can get to it really quickly. So I'll pull two then. The next challenge I would like to do is the 20, uh, the A to Z challenge where you read a book for each letter of the alphabet. I'm super excited about that. The only issue is I don't think I have a book on my shelves, let alone on my radar that starts with Z. If you have any ideas about that, leave them below. I would love to hear because I honestly don't think I do, but I'm excited to try and see how I do. Um, if I fail, I fail. If I don't, I don't. That's fine. Um, my other goal is to take more self-care. Um, I have noticed that I tend to put me on the back burner. Everyone else comes first, everything else comes first, besides me. And so I wanna make that not a habit anymore. I want to make me as much of a priority as I do my wife or my family or my fur babies who are on the couch over there sleeping. Um, yeah, I want to make me as much of a priority as I make everyone else. Um, another goal is to finish series that I love and just am hiding from the last book because I don't want it to be over. Um, I'm going to actually do a whole video of series I want to finish. Um, and also in that, that video it'll be series I want to finish and series I want to reread um because it's been years since I read it I read two of them and didn't finish one of them there's one like that I thought I finished them all I didn't <laughs> um so yeah uh that I want to get done um what else I'm trying to think if there's any other goals that 
that I'm missing. Hmm. I want to keep making YouTube videos. Um, I want to put out at least three videos a week, which has been really easy for me. Um, getting in front of the camera and talking has not been as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't, I don't do social interactions very well. I don't do like people very well. Um, I like to say I'm not a people person. <laughs> uh, so getting in front of the camera and talking, I thought it was going to be much scarier for me. It really hasn't been. Um, it feels like I'm just talking to a friend uh, and it's kind of nice to like be able to talk and not have to worry about whether the person across from me is listening or not or if they're thinking mean thoughts about me while they're um, sitting there. It, this is nice. Um, I have anxiety. You can tell. Um, but yeah, so keep making YouTube videos. Um, posting on Instagram more because I'm never on Instagram anymore and I want to get back on Instagram. But yeah, those are all my goals for 2020. Um, I may try tracking my reading. If I do track my reading, I'll probably be by time spent reading instead of pages um, because I found tracking my pages stress, stressed me out um, because I felt like I wasn't getting anything accomplished even though there are pages getting read every day. Um, I have found that I'm a slower reader than I used to be um, and so I think that if I did it by time it would motivate me to read more because I'd be able to go, oh look, I just read a whole hour. Or, oh look, I just read, you know, I read for like 45 minutes yesterday. Let's see if I can do an hour today. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to track it. If I decide to track it by minutes and make a tracker, I will um, do a whole video about it and link it down below for you guys so that if you want to track your reading by minutes as well, you can totally do that. Um, I know that the little book owl here on YouTube she did one, but hers is by pages. Um, I've looked into that. Hers is by pages, the number of pages you read that day, and not minutes you read. So maybe, maybe I can um, get something together to track that. Um, it may be me just tracking in my bullet journal. I'm not 100% sure yet. When I decide, I'll let y'all know. Um, but yeah, if you like these videos, um, if you like this chatty uh, goals video, like, subscribe. Um, I will be posting videos three times a week starting soon and I'm super super excited to do that for you guys and let y'all get to know me a little bit better and show you not just the good side but the ugly and the bad as well. Um, I'm a very honest person and so you're gonna get me, honest me, and I don't know how not to be honest so yeah, if you like the honesty, stay tuned.